Are you wondering why your Logitech C920X or C920 camera won't save its settings in OBS? Like every time you start it, you gotta reset its autofocus, or you gotta reset its focus, its white balance, and all those issues. Well, there's a very simple solution. I'm gonna show you. We're getting started right now. All right, so what you need to install is Logitech G Hub. It's a simple program, go install it. I wanna show you how to set it up on your Logitech webcam. There's a few things you have to do besides just installing it to make it work. And uh, I wanna get it to a point where you could set it and forget it and just keep going every time you open up OBS. I'm fascinated with tech and my goal on this channel is to keep showing you simple ways to make your streams or videos look and sound more professional. Here we go. <clears throat> so we're gonna go to the Logitech's website. Uh, I have the link in the description. What we're gonna do is download G-Hub. It's a free app from Logitech and it kind of holds a lot of potential. It essentially is a control center for all your Logitech gear and settings. So uh, like if you have any other thing uh, that runs you know, Logitech, it automatically keeps your Logitech gear and settings saved how you want it, like a mouse, whatever, you know, all those headsets, blah, blah, blah. But here we go, we're gonna download it, install it, and we'll be back in a second. But pretty much I use G-Hub to keep and store my Logitech C920X settings in OBS. And kind of disclaimer, this is kind of a, a tough subject because all over Reddit, this is an issue. Like these cameras are infamous for not having their settings saved in OBS. And I've told people to try this on Reddit and some people say it worked, some people say it didn't. So it may or may not work. I don't know why it's such a finicky little camera and why it doesn't work. Probably that's why it's affordable. But um, I've set this up. I've had it work. I uninstalled it and now I'm reinstalling it just to show you how I set this up. But yeah, we're gonna continue with it. All right, so here we go. We've got our C920 and it automatically starts in default mode. And what you wanna do is add a new camera mode. Boom, there you go. Uncheck auto, uncheck auto. So exposure is kind of interesting. That's the first thing I like to priority. Priority frame rate. And if you overexpose, you see how your frame rate gets weird. If you underexpose, it's extremely just black. I like to set it. Luckily, I've got a room with some white walls. I like to set it to where it's like a nice balance. See, that's too much. It's too little. Frame rate is great. All right, focus. So I usually wear a hat and see it, it undid it from auto, even though I unselected auto. Once I started sliding it, undid it. So I like to set it to where my hat, you can see. You can see it's kind of like just zooming in, like, you know, it's like changing the aperture on the camera. Okay, that's blurry. Probably, yeah, it's just right. All right, then we're gonna go into this video section, do the same thing, go into new filter, uncheck auto. So white balance is interesting. So you might have different lights in your house and they might be like, um, it might be LEDs, which put off like a blue color sometimes, um, more blue, or you might have traditional lighting, which is, puts off more of an orange. So when you have your white balance up, you know, gets it to an orange color and this gets it to a blue. So what you need to do is slide it around and I like to balance off my walls. The blue, let's do orange. Yeah, it's about right. And uh, sharpness, I don't touch. You could mess with that in uh, OBS. Uh, contrast, I don't touch. And brightness, I don't touch because you can mess with that in OBS. Uh, saturation, I might. Now I'll do that in OBS because you can see how my skin's a little orange. Um, yeah, that is that. Now we're gonna go into OBS. All right, so I adjusted my display that I'm showing you. You can see my OBS, all my scenes, and I like to do a thing called scene nesting. All right, so in my C920, I have a scene created up named the camera I like. Then in that scene, I do a source and I added, you know, of course, 
There's a video capture device. I selected my Logitech C920, which is having issues. There we go. All right, HD Pro cam. That's my Logitech. Boom, pointing right at it. All right. So I like to do, change it from device default to custom. And since my display area is 1920 by 1080, that's what I do. Frames 30. Default, 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 capture audio only. Boom, there we go. And also in this, I'm gonna right click and go into filters. And I've actually applied a few filters. Um, yeah, and this is just a lot. I did a tutorial on how to make any camera look good. So this is, oh, let me undo that and do all my color correction. Defaults. Yeah, see, that's a lot different. All right, boom. Contrast, I don't need too much. Brightness. Try to make your shirt black. Boom, applied that LUT. Close. All right, easy. Here we go. I'm going to transition to it. There it is. So, yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close OBS and make sure it looks the same. But before I do that, I'm going to go full screen. Turn my C920 on. Right now I'm full screen so we can see what this looks like. Now I'm going to shut down OBS. There it is. It's saved. Easy. All right. So let me know if this solved the dreaded issue of not having your, you know, Logitech C920 settings saved in OBS. And if you like the music playing below, check it out. Spotify. It's called Stream Tunes, Lo-Fi Beats. Other than that, hope this helped you and stream easy and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.